Hi folks and welcome to Adventureland RV Park in Altoona, Iowa. Uh, Adventureland itself is a, an amusement park, Disney-like, and uh, behind me is the office area. Uh, down this end is entry. Uh, something to know right off the bat. Do not follow the signs that lead to Adventureland. You, you have to look for the sign that's just after, just after the casino, but just before the hotel. I can't explain it. Just before the hotel. So it's in between. Look for the signs. Anyway, uh, that said, there's the hotel. And back behind me, that's the casino. So you have RV Park, you have Casino, you have Adventureland if you want to go on the rides, and you have the hotel if you're feeling a lot like staying while you play at the casino. Given this is a one night stop, I could have saved myself the 40 bucks uh, and by the way, it's not really, you know, horribly priced. Uh, I have a very nice pad you're going to see later in the video. Uh, but I could have simply stayed in the buses, RV, and semi-parking at the other portion of the casino hotel combination uh, and uh, simply put up here for the night. I'm going to guess you need to get here early, but be aware this exists. It's here. Take advantage of it if you're just coming through. Okay, now I get Prairie Meadows. It's a thoroughbred track. Not only is it a thoroughbred track, this is Kentucky Derby weekend. And we have a whole bunch of folks enjoying the heck out of being here, enjoying the racing, and now watching simulcast of the Kentucky Derby. So there's yet another reason hang out at Prairie Meadows with your RV on any given weekend. Roads are wide. Entry to my space was easy. Facilities, just checked them out. And while they're just opening up, this is the tail end of Corona Bola. And so there are still some things that need to be done. Still some, uh, let's call it some, some waking back up to do. I would say that they will certainly get there and uh, I'm going to go around in a circle here and just show you there are several different sub uh, kind of circles in the in the campground and uh, and then we'll get to where I am I'm back on the end in a pull through uh, I don't have to drop the car at all and you're gonna see that in just a minute and here is our spot at Adventureland Doc and I are very happy uh, it's actually morning after and uh, it's going to be hard to top being at a thoroughbred track on Derby Day. So I'm not going to try. Uh, what I will give you is uh, I did not have to do any leveling of any kind. I pulled in. There's a bit of a swale at the back tires. I just pulled forward that. I'm still good as far as the dimension is concerned in my parking space. I did not unhook the car. I powered up put out the sides and that was it because everything else was just fine so I was dead level without any added assistance and uh, the power and water and sewer are right there and while it's not new in construction folks added on new plugs for the 3050 Pull-in was easy. Like I said, I never unhooked. And you can see the, I came around the corner and pulled right in. So I am definitely gonna give this a, a, a positive review and I'll have that momentarily. So Adventureland RV Park sitting next to Adventureland, Adventureland Park sitting next to Meadow Casino, um, Thoroughbred Track, 
uh, dry camping possibilities. This is a terrific spot as you're making your way across Iowa. Um, right dead center, north of dead center, uh, but not right down in town. So, so a really nice place. And on the way out is a uh, flying J for gas uh, or otherwise. So I'm going to give it big thumbs up not only for location but again everybody real polite and nice on the check-in and uh all the area itself very green dog walk dog park is directly across from the there's a kids area and uh the the both of the restroom facilities were clean neat and well stocked so i'm going to give it thumbs up on that as well all for now